Even though the benzene molecule is exceptionally stable, it is possible to do a reduction reaction on the benzene ring itself. There are two different ways that we can reduce the benzene ring. The first one that we're going to look at is a standard hydrogenation reaction. This is where we use hydrogen gas to convert carbon-carbon double bonds into carbon-carbon single bonds. So you've seen a lot of hydrogenation reactions before, but none that are this extreme. In this reaction, we're going to need three equivalents of hydrogen gas for every one benzene molecule because of the three double bonds. This one uses nickel as the metal catalyst. We need to have the hydrogen gas at a pressure of 100 atmospheres, which is extremely high, and the reaction needs to be done at a temperature of 150 degrees Celsius, which is also extremely high. This converts benzene to cyclohexane. The Birch reduction reaction is not as harsh, but it also does not provide a complete reduction. In the Birch reduction reaction, we use sodium metal, methanol, CH3OH, and ammonia. And this removes one of the benzene ring, or one of the double bonds in the benzene ring, but not both of them. And it creates an isolated diene. Um, it is important to know if there is an alkyl group present on the benzene ring prior to the Birch reduction reaction, like we're showing on this next example. That alkyl group is going to end up being uh, attached to one of the carbon atoms in the double bond right there, like that. So one of the double bonds in the, in the product will end up being associated with the carbon atom that is holding the R group. So for example, we would not see a product that looked like this, where the R group is not attached to one of the carbons that now has double bond.